There are a lot of different ways that secondhand smoke can move through apartment buildings. Basically, any place that there is a leak and there's a difference in pressure on the two sides of the leak, the air can move, move through that. So, for example, sheetrock doesn't come all the way down to the floor and there's usually a gap all the way along the bottom of the sheetrock that air can move through. Sometimes there are mechanical chases for duct work or piping that go all the way through the building from the lowest floors to the highest floors and it's not always sealed around those. So that's an easy place for, for secondhand smoke to move. It can move through things like um, gaps around the piping under sinks or gaps between one apartment and another where the sheetrock wasn't completely finished for some reason, like say behind bathtubs. There are just many, many small openings and some big openings in buildings that the air can move through. Secondhand smoke gets into my apartment unit around every crack of the door. It also comes through the vent in the bathroom. I've noticed it smelling in the towels in the bathroom. It seems that it comes through the windows, the vents, and the doors. And basically, if I'm in bed, I can smell it uh, like it coming through my bedroom window. And then sometimes I it feel like someone is they're actually smoking in the room. It got in everywhere. I, I would say like if I was in the kitchen, um, it would come in, I guess, through the walls, um, under the sink. It came in my bedroom closet. So when I would take clothes out of my closet, they would smell like smoke. And, and then I'd try to open a window, you know, to get some ventilation. And well, guess what? There'd be people smoking out there. So, you know, there was smoke coming in the windows. It was coming in the hallway. It would come underneath the door. Really, the, the best way to solve the problem of secondhand smoke transfer in multifamily buildings is to adopt no smoking policies for the buildings. And it's, it's really a win-win situation because it's completely legal. It's very popular. There are many, many tenants who want to live in smoke-free buildings and a lot more tenants who want to live in smoke-free buildings based on our survey research than who want to live in smoking permitted buildings. Uh, previous experience of owners is that it doesn't have a negative effect on vacancy rates. In fact, 20% uh, of them said it actually improved their vacancy rates. It uh, actually has a, has a positive effect on the cost to operate the building because you eliminate a lot of costs when there are turnover, cleaning costs, and so forth. And so it's really a very good solution. It's a great thing for tenants and it's a great thing for owners. And um, it's really the best solution.